Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Cat Mom. They love me so much. Happy birthday to me. My story me. Oh, so cute. Oh, yes. It is a magical day. It is my birthday. And um, as you can see, I have COL. Cat on lap, and maybe a couple of uh, my ago You guys, I asked you guys out there. Hey, I finished the sketchbook in the back of May and in August. And do you think I should do a sketchbook walk on my channel? And if this thing would focus, some of you were like, Yes, let me see that. And one of you was like, Meh, yeah, let's see that. Anyway, so 100% ratio of, Yeah, let's see this. And here it is. And we're gonna go through and we're gonna open it up. And I'm gonna do a sketchbook walk. Yay! First page, spade. Oh my god, this actually looks not that bad. I thought you were um, more ruined than this. Ah, yes, this was the first picture I drew, Spade, and I decided, you know what, let's just draw some chibis, let's draw some facial expressions, let's just play around with the character. And yes, uh, zoom in, mm-hmm, totally innocent, and then, hmm, yes, this is shoulder. <laughs> He's looking at the shoulder of the drawing right next to him. I am so funny. And then, T! T! Yes, I'm slowly getting a T. And... Yeah, the next picture, um, some concept sketching of a place that will be in Sung Hollow Song, a little coffee joint area. I decided I might as well do some concept sketches of it. Here's an aerial view of, if the camera would focus, of what I think it would look like. Maybe some details. Shut up, computer, nobody cares. And here's some details of what I think the sun places would be. Yes, I need to do more of these. And the next- Oh, oh no, Suzume! <laughs> oh, the third page got so terribly smudged. So, um, uh, here's a picture of this picture, this page, when it wasn't smudged. Yes, beautiful, lovely. I'm so sad, Suzume, that you got smudged. Your little angry chibi over there really, really helps emote how I feel right now. Yeah. You are so pretty, though. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, and you're right. Let's go on to the next page. Oh, Nataga, no. <laughs> you got smudged, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yes, Nataka, for Lucy's Manor. And we're going on to the next page. I don't care if I'm going too fast. More concept sketching. I was looking at uh, the Crystal College dorms, small little aerial view of what I was thinking, plotting out some story stuff. Ooh, yeah, yes. Not everything in this sketchbook is story things. And then Cotton! Oh, I miss drawing you. You're a mascot. I'm a what? Yes. Yes, you are my mascot-like character, just because the jackalope I draw you as is so cute. Moving on. Aki! Oh, oh you look so handsome, Aki. Oh, I miss your face. I need to draw you more. And it was fun just trying to imagine what his own signature would look like, so that was fun. Moving on. Caught in again! Oh, this was... I just... I don't know. I love having fun with her. I think she's one of my most favorite characters to draw just because of the different kind of style, and I love being able to use her to experiment with expressions. So, yes. You're so fun, Cotton. Zane! Oh... Oh uh, yes. I think this is one reason why I'm so happy for this sketchbook, is that just from the get-go, I've been drawing, like, my characters. And of course, later on in the sketchbook, I start drawing some more fan art, but that's okay. I just, I need to draw my characters more, and it was great to be able to do that and flip through and see it. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. It's Greer! 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 She rhymes with cheer. You've gone through so many overhauls. Like... The, the little arm clings that she has, that's not what she really wears anymore. And I was like, ah, some kind of flowers. Never really got to finishing this picture, but yes, I am now 29. And if the camera would focus, 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 focus. Nope. Too much happiness energy. We're not going to focus on that bun. We will focus on the bun, though. Thank you, camera, for focusing on the bun. Yes, yes. Are you upset that I'm talking so much? Yeah, yeah. You love me. 
You love me, Misty. Yeah. You love your mama. You love you too, my sweetie. Yes. This is their present to me. Um, laying on my lap, keeping me company, and um, uh, pooping in the litter box. What a lovely present. Ah, uh, cotton. I've been having some fun doing some little bun bun cotton expressions. And there's page two of cotton bun bun expressions. You might have seen some of these on like Instagram and DeviantArt and Tumblr. And that is all thanks to my amazing friend Saya helping me be a social media, helping, helping me update and upload because sometimes I am too focus, focus. Focus. ADD to do that. There's Claire again. Yeah, this one was when I was trying to figure out how I wanted her eyes to be. She has heterochromic eyes. One is more blue and one is more purple. I think it's been a while since I've colored her. Ah, yes. Originally, when I was making um this video, I'll put the thumbnail of it up over here and the little tag. There it is. Um, I think when I was making my, like, the, my struggles to be a content creator, originally I was gonna draw this picture instead, and color it, and finish it, and everything, but then I just, I just didn't want to do that anymore. I was like, nah, I wanna, like, make my banner, I wanna update my banner, and so I made my, a new banner, and I love it, and I love it to bits. Maybe I should make another banner here soon, but I don't know, so here we go. Varen! Ah! Uh, Oh, I miss your face too! Varen, he is my demon like character for Song, Hollow Song, which has gone through a title change, so I really want to say Serenade to me, but that's not his title anymore! Song, Hollow Song! Whoosh! Moving on to over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I, did I move the pages too fast for you? Are you upset about it? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'll try to talk softly for you because I know you're trying to nap. And same with you, my sweetie. I'm trying to talk softly for you because you're trying to nap. Yeah. Oh, you're so sleepy. Oh, she yawns. Oh, you're so cute, though. You're so precious. Okay, back to the Baron Chibi. Ah, yes. This is another picture that I really want to turn digitally. Like, I just, I love drawing chibis. I, as you can see with my style, I love the whole, like, big bobble head look with the eyes because I love over-exaggerating the eyes. I feel like the bigger the eyes, the more detail I can get with the eyes, and then just kind of make their body kind of simple and, and small-ish. At the same time, the proportions aren't really, like, completely itty-bitty chibi-esque, but that's okay. That's how I draw. I like it. Moving on. This! Here we go! This was the first initial sketch of that speed draw I was just talking about. Like, I sat down one day and I drew this and I was like, oh my goodness, this would be such a cool banner. And there's my tagline, there's the thing that I like to say, be awesome, be you. Akemi. I, I can't snap right now because I got my little helpy finger gloves to prevent um, cramps on, so I can't really snap right now. I can kind of snap, but Akemi, snap out. Maybe someday you'll actually be able to see me do that on camera. You only get to hear it, so that'll be fun to see. Here we go. Here's another little chibi. I was just trying to draw a little Greer chibi to the side and maybe mess around with her eyes some, but I was like, eh, small doodle. Moving on. Ah, this one. So I was just having really fun. And of course I said right here, made some small notes. Nataka with pen, a digital reference needed focus focus. I have a little digital program called Design Doll. I'm pretty sure it's called Design Doll. Um, yes, it is called Design Doll. I purchased a license from it and I really, I like to use it for some 3D models to really help with things like perspective and poses and stuff. And I thought of this pose for Nataka and I really liked the idea of it, but I just, I just couldn't seem to really grab it down. This is another picture where, again, I would love to turn digitally and maybe use this picture as a speed draw later on. Focus. Focus. But in the meantime, that's just not gonna be that way. Poof. Um. Ah. Oh, yes. 
I remember you now. Here is another picture that I was gonna be drawing, maybe for a speed draw. If you can't tell, I was working on a specific eye type here, and it's because I was trying to work on the champion, the Galar champion, Leon, which is in another speed draw over here. This speed draw is actually really important to me because that's where I was talking about my art teacher, which unfortunately passed away this past year in, in I think May. More information about that on that speed draw over there. If you just go up to that corner over here and click on that link, you'll be able to see that speed draw and see how um, I was drawing Pokemon and the Galar Champion just because I wanted to see in my style and I kind of was trying to get like the idea of like body shape and stuff here, but it was just something just I just never really finished. I was like, eh, moving on. But I do like this eye though. I really like this eye. Glad I drew that eye. Um, oh yes, this was a sketch I was doing for Greer and it just wasn't taking off, so I just kind of stopped in the process of it, and that's okay. I think that's what's nice about these sketchbook tours, is you really get to see, like, some pieces, not all pieces are going to be finished. Like this, this right here, this, you see this? Yes. Yes. You are not going to see this online. I'm not going to put this on Instagram or Tumblr. This is probably the only place you're going to see it is in this video because it is a sketchbook work. So you're going to see all the drawings, even unfinished. Oh yeah, that was another one. I actually was really proud of the hands. I was really proud of the hands. This is another picture that I was trying to really emphasize the eye. And I think it's because Greer, her left eye, yes, I was looking at it right here. It looks left to me and on this side looks right and that's not the right eye. That is her left eye because if I, yeah, that's her left eye. I was really trying to emphasize how it's kind of, um, what's the word? Not cybernetic in a way? Not cybernetic. Cy... Cybernetic? I don't know. It's, it's not exactly, it's not an organic eye, whatever that word is. I forget that word, but I felt like this drawing just, I love the concept. I love the concept of this drawing, but I feel like I was missing the beat because it looked a little bit too, like, scary, I guess? The mood of it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? Did I disturb you? I'm sorry, my baby. I think the mood of it, I just kind of disturb. I just, woo! Almost dropped my phone there. I just wasn't capturing the mood. Moving on. Ah, oh, yes, this picture right here. Albedo! Ah! And then, like, you can see, like, all the little kitty sketches and stuff. Okay, so fun fact, and I'm pretty sure I put it in this video over here where you see me do this speed draw right over here right up there that speed draw right there where you really get to see me take this and turn it digitally which took a lot of time but um I sat down one day and literally my bestie Saya basically was like did you know I the, the, know that the voice actor the English voice actor for for Albedo Koidao actually likes cats and he has cats and I was like oh my god I'm a cat mama and I love cats and so at the time I didn't know what his kitties were and I thought he had four but originally I was going to make it to be which I think I've talked about in the trivia of that video that speed draw video I was gonna make it be four kitties that I thought were his he actually has three cats I think a black one, a Caligo, and then a, a, a ginger tabby cat whose names elude me. I think Ray was one of them. Asuna was another one. And Wally! Okay, so that. Ah, yes, I remember the, your cat's names, Koi. Ha ha ha. Can you remember my cat's names? Here's Stormy. Aw, sweet baby. She is my long hair ish. Um, well, medium hair Siamese, and then we got my short hair Siamese Misty. Yeah, you have the bluest eyes. I just love you to bits. Yes. Okay, but anyway, remembered your cats, Koi. They were amazing, and I loved them, but because I didn't know what their names were at the time, and I felt like it was maybe inappropriate to do his, draw his cats and cameo, have them cameo in this picture, um, without his permission, I decided to keep it out, and then just put four cats that were important to me. Moving on. Greer! Ah, here's a speed draw of this picture, because here's the here's the traditional art I did, and I really love this chibi. That's one thing that I love about chibis, is just, like, I get to play with, like, poses and stuff. I get to play around with details and, like, fo and focus on certain things, like her little catalyst here. Focus. Focus. And her eye and, and her outfit. This outfit is not the final version of her outfit I finally decided on. But anyway, there's a speed draw of this over... 
here. I'm gonna have my finger just stab this link up here. Yeah, go check it out. It's fun. I love my art. <gasps> Moving on. Oh yes, Chibi. So hi, hi. You gonna get up now? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll talk softly for you. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh yes, I'm sorry. But anyway, here were some little Chibi sketches that after I drew the Albedo Chibi, I was in the process of trying to think of. Um, different types of chibi poses and stuff that I could do for different characters and <laughs> some of them was just like funny like no stanima be like oh <laughs> uh, and maybe I will actually start inking them out and making them full flesh characters here's some more ones I have two of Zhao just because I just love Zhao he is adorable and sucrose i think jongling <laughs> and me i am a jongling main so like i spoil him spoiling jongling like oh here is your spear my wallet is screaming and there's venti supper the wrath of the rock ah yes ah these chibis I was just having fun with chibis but then i started making a candy sprites you probably have seen some of these in my videos actually all like digital and stuff but they started out as here as sketches Yep, there's, and I want try to go through all the emotions. So here's like happy, here's sad, here's angry, here's disgusted, here's afraid, and here's surprised. And I really like how they turned out digitally. And I actually continued with some of these expressions, and I feel like I should bring them and make them digital pieces too. You've seen this one, which is a little bit like surprised or shocked, just overboard, um, quizzical. Uh, kind of a little bit embarrassed and I feel like I should I should really make that one digital and he's just a little cute little cute chibi face <laughs> oh man so I watched the wind trace stream uh, on Koi's twitch and literally like I just died when um, Zach complimented him and so I just made a fun little meme like some people when complimented you're cute oh why thank you Koi when complimented, you're cute. Excuse me, I gotta go. Shit, bird. That was that was funny. I can't believe he said that. I died. I died watching that. That was great. Here's another great chibi. Ah, oh, you're so precious. I actually really like this chibi. I really love doodling chibis. They're just they're fun. They're some of the most mindless drawings. And this is actually the first drawing I did when I started. Um work for the summer. I was participating and helping out, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but I, this was the first day on the job of my summer job, so I went ahead and doodled a Greer Chibi. It's interesting how it's like literally some drawings are just connected to dates and time, and it's like I'm flipping through and I'm going through that. Ah, this laughing of Cami Chibi. And also you can tell this is like when I decided to switch over because, as you could tell from the Suzume picture previously, it was very smudgy. And so I went to this non-photo blue pencil, and honestly, this is a lot better for me to use traditionally because when I want to darken in the lines with a pencil, I can before I ink them. And also, like, this just doesn't smudge as much as a pencil. But here's a little Akemi laughing chibi, and I really feel like I should make that another digital little chibi to show up on screen. Ah, uh, yes! As you can tell, this sketchbook really cements when I became, you know, uh, a koi ponder. I don't know what the appropriate word for the fandom name is, but people who support uh, Koi, the voice actor for Albedo, and he's also the voice actor for Ray in the March of Lions, and the main character in Kuroko's Basketball and stuff. Highly recommend watching those shows. I still am trying to finish the March of Lions. It is a very heavy anime for me, like emotionally invested wise, so <laughs> it's taking me a while to get through that. But I decided to draw him and his three little key kitties his three little kitties as he's feeding the koi pond which is basically his fandom below the people who really support him and stuff and i think he's just such a cool dude and you're awesome you're awesome koi dao i support and laura too i support them they're amazing oh yes and this is when when i decided to make my um focus camera focus focus oh my god i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm sorry misty for shaking but when I decided to do my first playthrough of 
Super Mario RPG, I wanted to have like a little like I didn't want to blow up the um, pixelation of that old SNES game, so I felt like having a small little playthrough of the game inside of like some little art piece would have been really fun. And so I got the image of like, hey, I should have a picture of me playing the old SNES console. And so I think this is what I ended up going. I like this was the beginning sketches of it and it was great. Oh yeah, and here we go. Here we go. This is when I started figuring out like this was like gameplay and I felt like this would be a good way to tie in my art where I could just have a featured art piece. And now this is just art pieces that I've personally worked on, but I feel like later down the road if I continue more of this type of formula and strategy, I would love love to put like, you know, any of your guys's fan art or gifts and stuff just to show off for an episode that just touched my heart and I just love absolutely to bits and I appreciate everybody's support and thank you guys so much but yes that's when I started to be like hey jotting down ideas for um when I was doing my Super Mario RPG let's play ah uh, yes more expressions just because I had a lot of fun these are some of the expressions that I really need to ink I think the one that you have seen on some thumbnails is this one but I really feel like I need to like ink in the rest of these because they're just some small like um uh they set different tones and different moods like um this one's just like a cute like laughing chibi this one's kind of like in love and this one's being silly and then of course this one highly sus and um i use definitely use like i was like looking up different types of expressions and stuff on my phone i remember that and i was like how do i implement those expressions that i see on my phone that i'm referencing and and t and tweak them and make them my own and that was a really fun experiment it was a great um expression study you could say here's another one um you haven't seen any of these <laughs> this one this face <laughs> i don't know why but it makes me giggle there's something about that face <laughs> oh i really liked this one too and of course i had a lot of fun with this because i feel like these like with the how the body language was so important to and play around with and this one especially too where it's just kind of like this sassy like hey yeah that happened sort of like expression and honestly i feel like if it wasn't for someone like my character cotton who really helped me play around with like body styles and just a different style in general i feel like i would never have thought of this to be a possibility but it's a fun thing to experiment i have more expressions <laughs> loading like how the camera doesn't want to focus yes loading hey focus focus yep ah yes and even this one um <clears throat> context wise besides expression aside i was having i was having a pretty rough day and so i decided to sketch it out i'm fine now so i appreciate your guys concern but sometimes it's nice that I've been able to use drawing as a means of getting my expressions out. And now, moving on. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. So here's another fun picture of Greer. I really... You could see that I'm just trying to figure out how she was and how she looks and everything with her hair. Because her hair is so wonky to me that I'm like, oh my god, why did I do this to myself? But anyway, you can tell that there's the light blue, like, pencil marking and sketching underneath and then I went over with a actual pencil the non photo blue pencil and then I used a regular pencil well mechanical pencil it's not really a regular pencil I should really be talking with this hand more because it's less shadow wow brain but you can see that I also less smudging there's not really any smudging on the other side of the page but I was able to go through and just really help make those lines really um, uh, bold and without really ruining the picture and the underlying sketch. But I still like this drawing. I really love this drawing. There's something about this drawing that's just so whimsical and, and pleasant and just, ah, ah, growth. Oh yes, and this is me trying to figure out Greer and her hair because I was like, how in the world would this look? And then of course, th that's the one thing is like, you can tell that I have a very, I'm very biased on this three fourths angle. So I was like, I need to flip it and try to figure out what does her hair and stuff look like when she's looking the other way. And so I had to really try to figure out some of the dynamics of her hair. And then of course, chibis, because a little drawing chibis. <gasps> and 
Yes, this video is going to drag on for a while, but that's okay. It's a birthday special. It's supposed to drag on. Ah, uh, some more chibis. I had fun. <laughs> Got some Minecraft villager in here. <laughs> and then <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> and then in love. Ah, oh, so cute. Ah, uh, and then this was when um, uh, it was a year. It was July. July. Oh, I can't. I I can't remember my anniversary date, which is sad. I'm pretty sure it's July 25th. Yeah. And I started being like, that is my channel's anniversary date of when I first decided to start uploading. Channel 20, July 25th or July 30th. I, <sighs> Brain, pull up the speed draw of this video and this link over here. There we go. There's a link up there. But yeah. This was when I started sketching out like what I should do for my speed draw. And then I went with something simple like this. This cute little chibi of me being like, Oh, it's been an official year on YouTube. Anyway, I'm talking too long. I'm just going to speed through some of these things. Ah, Greer, some days I want to sit and enjoy my coffee. Other days I just want a nice long hug. Yes, jungly, because I have a jungly man. And Keith... Silverstone, the VA for Jungle, could read me a dictionary and we can sit down and drink tea and have coffee. And then I was just drawing some poses. Didn't really get far with those, but I was like, hey, Suzume, another Suzume chibi. <laughs> so what? <laughs> uh, I always get so giddy when I get to see my own characters drawn. Ah, this is another picture, again, that I would really love to turn digitally. That's Suzume and she's blowing some bubble gum. I really love the pose and and um, just the way she looks and playing around with her hair and those threatening eyes because she is intimidating and strong as fuck and I appreciate that, I support. Pardon my language. And here's Spade. He's the one who accompanies her um, on their journey to go find the land of the ancients. And then I decided to do some cat doodles because I love cats, as you can tell. I love cats. She's so upset that I'm moving around so much here. Yeah. yeah, she's so upset. Oh, you're gonna get up now? Oh, Screech! Ugh. I love my kitties. Another chibi that I was doodling, I just wasn't finished with, and that's okay. Ah, here's another really good picture. Like, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, I loved this picture so much that I distinctly remember when I had to stop this picture, when I was like done drawing this picture, I felt sad. I was like, no, I don't want to continue on the next page. I was like, I'm really enjoying this picture, but I was done. But yeah, this was, this was definitely more where I had a more, a stronger idea of what her outfit should look like. And I really love it. So yes, girl, actually, I don't care. I ship, I write fan fictions and it's amazing and glorious. I don't care if I'm a year away from being 30, I'm going to be that person. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was trying to do a height reference, and I never really took off, but that's okay. Little, little short chibi, next to the big, big chibi. Whee! Uh, and this was like, I don't know, I was just kind of wanting to try to shake things up with style, and um, definitely, as you can tell, strongly um, influenced by Vivzy Pop and her style, and Hasbun Hotel, and Hell of a Boss, and everything, and I was like, you know what, I want to try something different, so... I, tr I just designed a character for the fun of it. And it turned out really great, and I love it. Ah, uh, this picture. This is another picture, again, because I love the fact that it's very rare for me to draw backgrounds, but when I do, I really feel like it's just... It's awesome if I do draw backgrounds. And so this is another picture that I really feel like I should take and turn digitally and complete. Oh, 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 she's leaving me. She's like, Mom, you are talking so loud. I can't nap. Okay, bye, sweetie. Bye, story me. No, you're Misty. Bye, Misty. Anyway, moving on. Oh, yes, a little sketch. I was just practicing with poses. I think somebody was supposed to be talking on the phone and, and like carrying a bag that I didn't really finish and everything, but that's okay. Um, yes, I weapons. Um, I forget what it's called, like asset designs and stuff. This is actually Lady Kiyomi's weapon of choice. Anyway, moving on. Oh yeah, and I was doing an idea, rough sketch of a size comparison. At the same time, I look at this and I feel like it just reminds me of Articuno's tail, which is great because I love that Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon. Oh, okay. And we're 
at the end. I was having so fun going on this journey with you that I had no idea that we reached the end. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to continue this amazing YouTube journey and this birthday has been just so great and so fabulous. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember everybody, be awesome, be you, a Kenny.